Hello, everyone. Tilly and I have been doing some repairs here at the school. And now it's time to head back to the garage. The mini mechanicals have finished school for the day too. They're waiting for Sammy the school bus to take them home. Here's Sammy now. Hello, Sammy. Ooh, that door sounds squeaky. All aboard, Mini Max. One, two, three, four, five. There, you're ready to go. Oh dear, that doesn't sound right. Poor Sammy can't open his doors. They're stuck and the mini mechs can't get out. We need to check your electrics, Sammy. Don't try and move, you might make things worse. It's a good job I was passing by with Tilly. We'll tow you to the garage. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help. A vehicle in need. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Sammy turn. Sammy's doors won't open. The mini mechs are trapped inside. But what's wrong with Sammy? Are all his electrics fried? No, it's just his door at fault. Those hinges are all rusty. Let's get the mechs to take them off and fit ones that are more trusty. Go, go, Mechanicals! Now the old doors have come off, the mini mechs can get out. But now all they want to do is play and run about. Careful now, don't touch that. Watch out for that hole. Red and green mechanical, get these kids under control. Green and red are struggling to keep those mini mechs from being silly. I think that they could use a hand from our friend Tow Truck Tilly. Her cargo bed can hold them safe to stop any more fuss. So we can think of what to do to help Sammy the school bus. We need to replace those old rusty doors with smooth new ones. But while we have Sammy here at the garage, I think we should install a surprise for the mini mechs to make getting off the bus more fun. There, the doors are all fixed. And the mechanicals have added an extra something special. One, two, three, four, five. Let's drive these mini mechs home so they can try out the surprise. I'll follow you in Tilly to make sure everything's working okay. Hee hee! That's right! It's a surprise slide! One, two, three, four, five! What a cool way to get off the bus! Hello everyone! Bobby the bus is visiting the garage today. He needs a wash. Again! He gets very mucky. Bobby needs cleaning in the morning. Bobby needs cleaning in the afternoon. Bobby even needs cleaning at night time. Every morning, Bobby has to refuel with dirty diesel to power his engine. <coughs> Ew! 
Bobby's fuel smells terrible. It's so dirty. <coughs> Here comes Evie, the electric car. She doesn't have any problems with dirty diesel. She's lovely. Bobby wishes he could be as quiet and clean as Evie. Evie charges up her batteries using clean energy from the sun. Hmm, I wonder. Hey Bobby, how would you like to get rid of your dirty old diesel engine and run on clean electricity instead? It's a big job, but I think the mechanicals are up for it. Let's get you into the garage and get started. Drive onto the platform and let's see what we can see. What do we need to do to make you run electrically? Go, go mechanicals! The mechs take Bobby's engine out. Fit motors to his wheels. Install a brand new charging port. There! Let's see how that feels. Oh no! Bobby's wheels won't go. Now what have we done wrong? Of course! He needs some batteries to power him along. Energy from the sun goes into the solar panels on the garage roof. That energy travels through our charger into the batteries on an electric vehicle like Evie. Evie stores the energy in her batteries and that powers the motors in her wheels. It takes a lot of energy to power a bus, so Bobby's new batteries are very big and very heavy. Where should the mechanicals put the batteries, I wonder? How about at the back, where we took the old engine out? There's lots of room there. Oh dear, that's no good. The batteries are too heavy to all go at the back of the bus. Bobby's done a wheelie. How about we spread them out? Inside Bobby. The mechanicals might need to clear a bit of space first though. Um, mechanicals. I know you needed to make space for the batteries, but I didn't mean take all the seats out. Where are the passengers going to sit now? On the roof? Hold on a minute. On. The. Roof. Of course. Put those seats back in. I've had an idea. The best place for the batteries is up on the roof. Bobby stays balanced. There's still room for all his passengers inside. And the air going over the roof helps to keep the batteries cool and working properly. Let's install a cover over the batteries to protect them from bad weather. Perfect! Now Bobby's ready to roll. Let's get those batteries fully charged. One percent, two percent, three percent. Hmm, this charger is far too slow. Bobby has a giant battery pack, far bigger than Evie's. We need to make this electric charger into a supercharger. Let's try again. Huh, they don't seem to have made this charger any faster at all. What's going on? Uh-oh, it looks like the mechanicals have supercharged the wrong charger. Blue Mechanicals charger is going crazy. Look at those numbers go. Eek! It looks like Blue Mechanicals got lots of extra energy to use up. Look at him go. Now that Blue Mechanical has helped to supercharge the charger, we should be able to charge Bobby's batteries at record speeds. It's working! Look at those numbers go! 40, 50, 60, 
70, 80, 90, 100 percent. Bobby is fully charged. Well done, Mechanicals. Her name's Evie. She's clean and quiet and speedy. Evie's driven a long way today, so she wants to stop off at Gecko's garage for a rest. Oh dear, what's happened to Evie? She was zooming along and now she's slowed right down. She must be very tired. You'd better get over to Gecko's garage, Evie. Quickly, uh, I mean slowly. Hello, Evie. You seem very slow and sluggish. Hmm, I think you might need refueling. Drive round to our fuel pumps and we'll soon get you sorted out. Right now, let's get you filled up with fuel. Oh, where's your fuel cap? Hmm, that's very strange. I can't see it anywhere. How can we fill up your fuel tank if there's nowhere to put the fuel in? Something seems wrong here. Head into the garage and let's have a good look at you. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Evie turn. Evie looks like a normal car, but where does her fuel go? And no exhaust pipe either. What's wrong? I just don't know. There's something that I'm missing. A nagging little doubt. I'll wake up the Mechanicals to check her engine out. Go, go, Mechanicals! What, what, what's going on? It's empty. Evie, where's your engine? How can you drive around without an engine? Oh, Evie. Oh, E, V. E, V. Electric vehicle. Of course. Evie is an electric car. Instead of a petrol or diesel engine to power the car, Evie has electric motors that drive her wheels and batteries hidden under her seats, which store all of the electricity she needs. That's why she's so quiet. She doesn't have an exhaust pipe belching out nasty fumes or a fuel tank because she fills up with electricity instead. Evie. You need to be plugged in to charge up. We have two regular fuel pumps, but no electric car charging point. We'll have to install one. I'll get Florence the forklift to bring the parts over and we can build one. Well done, Mechanicals. That's looking great. The electric charging point is connected to the solar panels on the garage roof that Chelsea the cherry picker helped us to install. Here's the charging cable. Now, where on Evie do we plug it in? Brilliant! Evie has a charging socket hidden in her nose. So now Evie can fill up with clean electricity using energy from the sun. The charging station tells us how full of electricity Evie is. Look at those numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She's full up. Fantastic! Celia the cement mixer is working hard on the construction site today. She's pouring concrete into the ground 
to make strong foundations to build houses on. This site needs a lot of concrete. Celia, you'd better come over to the depot to get some more. It's just round the corner from Gecko's garage. Concrete is made from different ingredients all mixed together, like a cake. To build a good strong building, we need good solid ground. The ingredients fill Celia's drum, then it churns round and round. Cement, sand, stones and water create the perfect paste. Now it's off to the construction site, there is no time to waste. Celia's drum keeps moving, round and round, all twirly-whirly. This keeps the concrete mixture from going hard too early. She needs to get there in one hour, no messing on the way. The construction site is not too far, so that should be okay. Uh, Celia, I think there's something wrong with your drum. It's not supposed to be making that noise. Perhaps you should drive back over to Gecko's garage, so that we can take a look. If it stops turning, then you'll be in trouble. The concrete will be stuck solid in the drum. Oh dear, it looks like Celia is carrying on to the construction site. Uh-oh, a traffic jam. But don't worry, you still have three quarters of your time left. Hmm, your drum is still making a terrible noise. Are you sure you won't come back to the garage? We don't want your drum to... Stop. Uh-oh. Celia, where are you going? If the concrete hardens in your drum, then you'll be in terrible trouble. It'll take days to get the hardened concrete out. We need to get you fixed up right away, back at the garage! Oh no! Celia, what have you done? Your drum has stopped, and now your wheel has come off. You can't drive to the construction site or to the garage. And with a drum full of concrete, you're too heavy for Helen the helicopter to pick up. If you can't come to the garage, then we'll come to you. Hold on in there, Celia. We're on our way. Go, go, Helen! Our time is half gone, so we need to get that drum turning again, and quickly. Go, go, Mechanicals! Fantastic! Now, Let's get that tyre changed. You're all fixed up now, Celia. But we only have 15 minutes left. I just can't see how you can get to the construction site in time. If only there was someone who could help you get there faster. Hooray! Here comes Millie the police motorbike. She can put on her flashing lights and clear a path through the traffic to the construction site. We'll meet you there. Phew! You made it just in time, Celia. But that was very, very close. I think Celia's learnt her lesson. And next time there's something wrong, she'll come and get help from her friends at Gecko's Garage. Millie the police motorbike has had to stop Larry the lorry. He delivers parcels and packages all over the country. He looks so full, his sides might burst. Millie needs to escort Larry to Gecko's garage so that we can help him. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help, a vehicle in need. Hiya Larry, it looks like you're carrying too many packages and they haven't been loaded very well. Shall we take a look? Go, go, Mechanicals! What a mess, I'm really sorry, but that's no way to pack a lorry. Let's take some time and care with it. I'm sure we'll make 
these boxes fit. The biggest parcel should go in first, with the smallest one on top. That blue parcel on the left, and the red one on the right. Let's put this parcel in the gap up at the top and put the last parcel in that gap down at the bottom. There, all sorted. Now that everything is packed away neatly, it all fits in properly. See you again soon, Larry. Good luck with all your deliveries. We've got a visitor here today. Have you seen him anywhere? He's big. He's very big. He's George the Giant Dump Truck. Oh, there you are, George. George is usually hard at work in the mine carrying massive amounts of rock. But today, he's here at Gecko's garage getting some new tyres fitted. They are huge! George is so big, he can't fit inside the garage, so he's having his tyres changed outside. Those look great! Well done, Mechanicals! Before he goes home to the mine, George is going to visit his little brother Dylan the dump truck over at the construction site. The site entrance is wide, but George is much wider. Uh-oh! He's going to knock down the fence! Watch out, George! Oh dear. Florence and Sid are getting the flowers ready to plant in the gardens of the new houses. What pretty flowers! Red. Yellow. And blue. Don't leave the flowers there! Those flowers are tall, but George is much taller! Uh-oh! George can't see the flowers, and he's going to squash them! Watch out, George! Oh dear! Celia's pouring concrete foundations into that trench. The trench is large, but George is much larger. Uh-oh, he's going to drive straight through it. Watch out, George! Oh dear. Here's George's brother, Dylan. He doesn't look very happy about all the mess that George has made today. And here comes Helen the helicopter. She's checking on the construction work from way high up in the sky. Oh dear, something's wrong. I think Helen's about to crash land on the construction site. Oh dear, poor Helen. We need to get you back to the garage. But how can we do that? I'd normally call Helen to carry a broken vehicle to the garage. But she can't carry herself. Helen is very big. Can you think of anyone that could help get Helen to the garage? George! That's right! Helen is very big, but George is much bigger. He can carry Helen back. George is too big for gardening and he smashed the construction gate. He messed up Celia's concrete. That really wasn't great. But when Helen was in trouble, 
he knew just what to do. No matter if you're big or small, there's a perfect job for you. Well done, George, you've saved the day. The mechanicals will get Helen sorted out in no time, and you'd best head home to the mine. You've got important work to do. Bye! Oh, uh-oh, the trees! Watch out, George! Too late. Mia the mini digger is helping her big brother Danny dig holes on the building site today. You've been working very hard. I think it's time for a rest. Aren't you going for a break too, Mia? What's wrong? You look sad. Oh, I see. You want to dig a hole as big as Danny's. Don't be so glum, Mia. You're good at lots of other things. Um, Mia, I'm not sure that's a good idea. You're a little digger, and that's a very big hole. Danny's a bigger digger, so it's easier for him to dig big holes. A mini digger just can't dig a hole that deep, a hole that big. But Mia digs three days and nights until she disappears from sight. Her scoop gets caught upon some rubble. Uh-oh, I think that Mia's in trouble. There's no one around to hear her shout. Oh, how can we get Mia out? This looks like a job for Helen the helicopter. Go, go, Helen! We're coming, Mia! Hold on tight, Mia! Garage roof open at speed! It's time to help a vehicle in need! Let's take a good look at you and see what's wrong. Hmm... It looks like your scoop's broken. And one of your tracks. This looks like a job for the mechanicals. They'll get you fixed in no time. Go, go mechanicals! You tried to copy Danny, but you came unstuck. And you ended up trapped in the muck. Your older brother's much, much bigger. Remember, you're a mini digger. We'll swap your scoop and fix your track. And soon you'll be on your way back. There you are, as good as new. Now, Danny has a job for you. Danny needs to dig a small hole in the floor of this new building. He may be really good at digging big holes, but he's too large to fit through the doors, and his scoop is far too big. I wonder who he could get to do the job. That's right, it's the perfect job for you, Mia. I told you that you were good at other things. Danny the digger's big and can dig big holes. Mia's small and is the right size to dig smaller holes in hard to reach places. Good job, Mia. I knew you could do it. There's a perfect job for each of you here at the construction site. Trevor the tractor's going to be visiting the garage today. He works down at Number Farm, helping Farmer George with lots of important jobs. Oh Trevor, you do look a mess. I'm glad you came to see us so that we can fix all of your problems. Go, go mechanicals! You really work hard on the farm, don't you, Trevor? But you do need to look after yourself properly. Your plough is all bent out of shape. How did it get like that? In the spring, 
Trevor plows the farmer's fields to get the soil ready for planting. He pulls a big plow behind him. It looks like hard work. Oh dear, those large rocks have really bashed up the plow. Then Trevor helps to sow the seeds. He pulls another machine that throws the seeds out onto the ploughed soil. Now that the mechanicals have repaired the plow, they need to take a look at your poor trailer. How did that get so broken? In the summer, Trevor spreads fertilizer on the crops to help them grow big and strong. Trevor also helps to harvest the farmer's delicious red apples from the orchard. That trailer looks very heavy and full. I think there's too many apples in there. Ah, so that's how the trailer got broken. There, your trailer's as good as new. Now, what about this giant scratch on your paintwork? What happened there? In the autumn, when the crops are ready to be harvested, Trevor uses his harvesting attachment to chop and gather all of the lovely golden wheat, ready to be made into breakfast cereal and flour. Oh no, this tree has fallen over in an autumn storm. Trevor the tractor is so strong that he can drag the tree out of the road so that everyone can get to where they need to go. Look out for that branch. Oh no, it scratched his lovely red paintwork. A quick respray and your paintwork's as good as new. Now, why does your engine sound so grumpy? In the winter, Trevor has to drive through the snow to take bales of hay to feed the horses. Trevor also goes out onto the country lanes to help cars in the snow. Poor Sophie is stuck in a snowdrift. Trevor clears the heavy snow from the road with his snowplow. And then pulls Sophie up the hill. No wonder his engine sounds poorly, after all that heavy work. There, the mechanicals have fixed up your engine, re-sprayed your paintwork, repaired your broken trailer, and pulled your plough back into shape. After all those seasons, you just needed a bit of maintenance. But now you're as good as new, and ready for spring summer, autumn and winter on the farm all over again. See you again soon, Trevor. I'm glad we could help Trevor with all his problems. He should come and see us more often. Thanks for visiting us today. Bye! If you love this video, tap here so you're the first to know about my latest videos. Thanks for watching! Bye!